boom what's up everyone this is rakesh here once again welcome to the session of oracle sql so guys in our last session what we have learned we have learned how to truncate the table so that is the topic which we have discussed and that comes under the data definition language as you can see on the your screen the data definition language we have completed now we are going to take one more specification which is nothing but your dml data manipulation language as you can see on the your screen data manipulation language contains the three operation which is nothing but the insert delete and update so if from this operation we are going to take one more operation which is nothing but your insert so that is the topic which we are going to discuss in this session so in short i can what again what i can say that how to insert the data in the table so that is the thing which we are going to see in this session so let me begin so insert statement is used to insert data into oracle database table so that is the functionality of an insert statement now how to use and how to insert the data let's see let me start with the syntax as you can see on the your screen there are two type of syntax let me begin with the very first syntax which is nothing but the your along with the column and value okay so as you can see over here on the screen i have declared the column name as well as the values okay now in this index what you need to take care you need to take care the order in which you have declared the column in a same order you have to declare the values as well for example you have declared the employee id uh, employee name and date of birth so you have to uh, insert or you have to declare the values in a same order the first employee id should come then your uh, employee name should come and then after that date of birth should come you cannot do like that first uh, you cannot write first date of birth and then uh, employee name and then after that employee id because the the order in which the uh, column has declared you haven't declared or you haven't given the value in a same order so this is the big thing which you need to take care one more thing you need to take care whenever you insert any value uh, of string or date then you have to use the single quote okay one more thing you need to take care which is at the time of the inserting of date kind of value then you can use the two underscore date function as well which we will see in the upcoming session if you are not understanding how to use then we will see that is in the upcoming session okay but but the whatever the things i have gi uh, given you the order in which the column has declared in a same order you have to give the values as well so that is the important thing which you need to take care now let me discuss uh, the other syntax without column so in without column what you need to do you need to uh, uh, remove all the column uh, columns okay and simply give the values but the values should be in the same order as it is in the table let's say for example in the your table the order of the column the first column is employee id uh, second column is your employee name third column is your uh, date of birth so the values whatever you are giving it should be in the same order as it is declared in the table so that all the thing which you need to take care and one more thing you need to take care if you in your table if you have declared three column then you have to give all the three values you cannot give a one or two or three values you have to give all the values let's say for example in the your table 20 uh, columns are there so you have to supply the value of all the 20 columns okay so that is the thing which you need to take care and let's have a look what are the points you need to note down in your notebook so guys i hope you have understood all the points and you have noted down now let me begin with my practical session that is nothing but your how to insert the data into database table so guys just right now we have seen two types of syntax of the sql insert statement in which we have seen the one syntax with the without column and one syntax is with the column so we are going to discuss first without the column and then later on we will discuss the with the column before that let me uh, show you the table in which uh, i am going to insert the data so this is the table in which i am going to insert the data so let me show you the 
what values or what rows available in this table so there is no row available in this table now this is the columns are available uh, this let me show you in the little bit more detail so i will fire this command so these are the column available in this table okay and this is the same order as we have in the table so you can see over here okay now <clears throat> let me go back to the my original discussion so this is the statement which i will use to insert the data so guys in this uh, let me first fire the command and let me show you uh, so you can see over here the uh, one row has inserted in this my profile table so let me show you first so it's, as you can see the row has come now uh, over here a few things you need to take care if you are following the without column syntax without column means you are not mentioning over here a uh, columns then you have to fo follow certain rules we what that rule that rule is if you are not mentioning the column then you have to give the all the values equal to number of column means that uh, let's say for example if you have in the table what all the columns are available 11 columns are available then you have to give all the 11 values otherwise if you are going the less than 11 values then what it will do it will give the error so this is the thing which you need to take care and it might be the this OCA question or the interview question now second thing if you are inserting the in string type of data or value then you have to give in the single quote as you can see over here the first name is a string then you have to give in the single quote now number you can give the normal okay now second thing you need to take care at the time of inserting the date so in if your value is a date type of then you have to use the two date function so as you can see the two date function i can use like this or i can use like this also like this but over here i have to change the format so let me change so let me insert over here 200 so you can see the row got inserted you can see let me show you in the database as well so yes row got inserted okay now <clears throat> This is what I need. I want to say over here. Now, one more thing I would like to tell that okay, if you don't want to use the two date function, then there is one more simplified way to insert the data, which is nothing but over here. What you need to do? You need to give like this, and you have to give like this. This kind of syntax you have to follow. Okay, two thousand three kind of. This kind of syntax you have to use. You cannot use over here 06. You cannot use over here 06. It will give error. You have to use June like this. This syntax only it will work and it will insert the data. Let me insert the data by 300. Okay. So you can see over here the row got inserted. Let me show you in the database as well. So you can see over here with the 300 the uh, row got inserted now one more thing i would like to tell that whenever you want to insert the null uh, null in this column you can see over here this is these are not the values this is the empty this is empty just right now it is showing as a null in the bracket it means it's empty okay and the zero if i zero is a value guys in the database make sure if you are inserting zero means it's a value not the empty null is a empty empty box so if i want to insert the null value then you have to use the null keyword and if you want to insert the zero then you, you can simply insert the zero like this so there will be three uh, one more 300 with the 300 okay you can see over here with the zero so this is how you need to follow the syntax without the uh, column now let me go to the uh, with the column so uh, with the column you uh, you have to mention like this okay you have to mention like this and then what whatever the values of that column you have to give okay uh, before that one more thing i would like to tell over here i forget it the uh, from over here to discuss one more point the order you have to be make sure the order what is the order of value 
and what is the order of your columns in a same order you have to give the value also so whatever the order you have in the table of a column in a same order you have to give the value as well so that thing you need to take care also in the uh, without the uh, column statement or without column syntax okay now let me go back to with column now we are going to discuss with column insert sql statement so this is the syntax or this is the sql insert uh, statement which you need to trigger so let me trigger with the 400 okay so as you can see over here the row got inserted let me show you in the database as well so as you can see over here with the 400 the row got inserted now what are the things you need to take care same thing uh, for the value applied uh, uh, for, uh, for the string kind of uh, value you have to use the single quote for the date type of value you have to use the sing, uh, two underscore date either you can use the single quote as well as i have explained earlier now one more thing you need to take care uh, when you are specifying the column over here so whatever the sequence you have followed or whatever the sequence you have maintained in the column uh, here as i highlighted same sequence you have to follow in the value as well so you cannot do like this uh, let me do one thing uh, you cannot do like this 2400 and uh, 2400 i will mention over here so you cannot do like that because salary is the second last and over here i have mentioned the uh, salary in the last so over here let me fire this command whether it will work or not so the, you can see over here uh, sql insert statement got failed so the in short what i can say that whatever order of the column is there in the sql statement same order you have to follow in the value as well so guys these are the points you need to take care at the time of insertion so i hope you have understood and it will help to crack your interview or uh, in your uh, business and guys if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care